All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Just shy of the 30. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. But with Barkley, you touched on it a little bit ago about them needing big gains from him to take pressure off Eli. He did have 106 yards in his NFL debut. And what I think fans will take home with them, that home run play that he made, right? Where I thought it was blocked pretty well initially. And then he used those powerful legs to step through a couple of tackles, get to the sideline. And in the acceleration, whoosh, a 68-yard touchdown. Giants fans expect to see plenty more of that in 2018. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Three down, three down. Right, hey. Shotgun now for Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. This will be fielded at the 17. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. An excellent return that time. 26 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 43. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Kamara, by the way, he's the guy in the backfield right now because Mark Ingram is out for weeks one to four, but that didn't appear to be a problem in week one. How many backs do you know that really mind carrying the load? Uh, zero. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they'll say they missed their partner and they can't wait for him to get back. But in the meantime, they'll take every carry and catch they can get. And Alvin Kamara is no different. 141 yards of total offense, three touchdowns. They'll split the carries when Ingram gets back. But in the meantime, Kamara says, just give me the ball. Kill, 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 kill. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. 0 2 0 2 Second down, here's Breeze. Throwing the comeback route. He's got the hook up to Thomas. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. Give him 30 yards there. Speaking of Michael Thomas, no receiver had a bigger afternoon than him in week one, albeit Charles in a losing effort. The guy put up a big, big game. I mean, he got targeted 17 times. His catch percentage off the charts because he had 16 catches. <laughs> 180 yards and a touchdown, and he's one of those uber-confident receivers. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. 
A great play there. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Lutz now to kick this one away. And the Giants ready to come out now. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Now a first carry for Jonathan Stewart. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Second down. Open man right side is Ingram. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. A first down carry for Barkley. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Second down. And that's off the mark, incomplete. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his Manning. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Here's Riley Dixon now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. This is taken at about the 14. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. New Orleans coming back onto the field. And an interesting note is we were looking over some of the stats from week one. You know, the Saints have now lost five straight season openers. That's almost, I don't even know how to describe that. That doesn't even sound right. Because it's not like they've had teams near the bottom of the NFL. You know, you look and, and why, okay? Well, they have allowed quarterbacks to throw 14 touchdowns and no interceptions in those games. Previously, I understood it. No one struggled on defense, but I thought last year was a great... And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. Olivier Vernon, tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five.
Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now Breeze. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a third and six here to start things out. this into enemy territory across the 40. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. leaves this one with Kamara and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40 that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker and what that means is his ability to read react and make a play but on that one he looked like one of those guys Throwing on second down. And Thomas has it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. He's going to come up here first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. Breeze hands to Ingram. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. second down. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushes just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. 
because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Latimer on the return. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll start out on the ground, and Saquon Barkley, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. Manning to throw on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And it'll bring up third down. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Manning. Trying to improvise. He may try and run for this. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Eli, not something you see a lot, sporting the wheels and picking up the first. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. it off to Barkley. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. down and it'll leave them with a second and two that's a strong pickup right there on first down and as this drive goes on we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will on second down here's Manning and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete this team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. The Giants on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, 
not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And Rosas puts this one through. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. 